Welcome to Streamrun. Let's get started by creating a free user account. So signing up is free, no commitments, meaning that you should also create an account and follow this video on your computer. And we are in. You can start by creating a new configuration from the scratch or selecting one of the ready-made templates. Let's create a new one, name demo, and proceed to the configuration editor. On the left hand side you can find a menu of different streamrun elements that you can simply drag and drop to the canvas. When you drag and drop output stream element, a preview server starts automatically and from now on everything you do in the editor will be visible in real time. For example, if I add test signal and connect that to the output, the test signal is visible. And if I delete the test signal, well, it's gone. I can add multiple inputs, so the input streams are kind of like input points into stream run from your device or computer. So this could be something like OBS, and from here you can copy and paste the RTMP or SRT URL to your software. The second one could be something like GoPro, and I can add a switch, so I can select which one of these inputs is live at any given time. All right, so now you can see that the OBS is selected and if I select the GoPro, then the GoPro video is going out. So the output is the final destination out from Streamrun. It could be something like uh, Twitch or YouTube. And you can also add your custom RTMP servers there. Cool. Let's stream something to the OBS input. And after a couple of seconds, you can see that the uh, connection is being established, the codec has been detected, and hopefully we are getting 60 FPS in a couple of seconds. Yeah, there it is. Uh, but the GoPro is live, so I need to switch to OBS to see the video. There it is. One cool thing is that I can also select a, an image that will be shown in case of connection problems or if, if the OBS goes offline. So this is great for for example, IRL streamers, because the output stream stays always live, no matter what happens in the input side. So if I stop the broadcasting, the please wait a moment image is going to my audience. This is a bit more advanced example of stream run. I still have two inputs, but the GoPro input is going through audio noise cancellation. So I get crystal clear audio when streaming in noisy environments or outside. I have PNG logo overlay, so my branding is there even when streaming with GoPro. I'm sending the output to two different destinations. So the first one is YouTube and my custom RTMP server, but the second branch gets a chat overlay and that is sent to Twitch using the Twitch enhanced broadcasting protocol. That means that the Twitch signal is actually in multiple resolutions and in multiple codecs at the same time. Hope you enjoyed this demo. Create your free account, play around with the editor and join our Discord and let us know if you have any questions, any ideas or any problems with the product. We would love to hear from you.